Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Now, we've got an interesting story for you here, and in fact, a tribute, really, of uh, one of the struggle heroes. Uh, Clarence Mokwetu was one of the struggle heroes that died on the first day of this month. Uh, Dr. Mokwetu was born in the Eastern Cape and was a political activist for 40 years before he retired from active politics. And tomorrow, he's being laid to rest at his home in Kovimbaba. Food does not grow in the sky. Houses are not built in the air. Gold, diamonds, platinum are dug from the land. Those are the words of Clarence Makwetu, one of the country's struggle stalwarts and former president of the Pan-Africanist Congress, expressing the importance for land ownership. Terence Makwetu was born on the 6th of December 1928 in Hoyita, Kofimvaba. The 1952 defiance campaign against unjust laws drew his attention to formal politics, later joining the ANC's Youth League in 1954. Dadmakwetu was the president of the PAC. Uh, that's a great leader. He fought for our freedom. And people who fought for freedom, there's one thing about them, it's common across the board, is that they fought for freedom for the love of freedom, not because they want to be free themselves, for others to be free. So we must accord him the necessary respect for having fought for our freedom. He contributed. The other claim from, from us is that all the old stalwarts of the PEC have a background in the NC Youth League. In 1960, after the Sharpville massacre, Makwetu was detained during the state of emergency. From that point on, his life was about detentions, punishments, and arrests, including doing time in Robben Island. 1990 was a significant year for the Pan-Africanist Congress for two reasons. The unburning of the organization and the death of Zephania Mutopeng, who was the then PAC president, subsequently leading to the election of Magwetu as the new president. In 1994, he led the PAC to the first South African democratic elections. He was one of the first three PAC members in parliament. Clarence retired from politics in 1996 after 40 years of political activism. He was the simple man, but the, his strength was in his simplicity. We are honored to have had a person like him as a leader of the PAC and uh, will continue to uh, draw inspiration from his life. After politics, Makwetu went back home to retire until his death. In this province, we pride ourselves of having produced many outstanding leaders. He's one of them who has made a significant contribution in the struggle for freedom. We are so grateful uh, that the president acceded to our request that uh, he be accorded a deserving uh, send-off. Tomorrow, Makwetu will be laid to rest at his home in Tlofimvaba. He passed away at the age of 88 and is survived by his wife and children. Bukelo Mapechana for Morning Live.